struggling to find your audience? Ditch the tactics. In this video, we're going to explore how to build genuine connections and find your tribe. The key to attracting customers you want to work with and who want what you have because there is no such thing as selling. It's just finding your people. We'll talk about how to build rapport, understand your audience, and create a magnetic brand that attracts those people to you. This video is perfect for any startup or entrepreneur looking to build a thriving business based on connection, not persuasion. I'll also have a bonus at the end of this video for all creative entrepreneurs with my company, Wealthy Palette Media. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Everyday Penny. I'm Sandra Carlisle, and here we talk about finance and business strategies geared to startups and entrepreneurial success. So let's get started. Today, we're talking about a subject that plagues almost all entrepreneurs and business owners, and that is selling. You may feel like you constantly need to push and persuade and convince people to buy your products, services, or advice. But what if I told you there's a better way, a way that feels more natural, more fulfilling, and actually will get you more leads and actually leads to more sales. The secret lies in attraction marketing. Forget the hard sell. It's about attracting the right people, your people to do business with you. The ones that resonate with you and what you offer. We call them your tribe. These are people who share your values, understand your message, and are genuinely interested in what you have to say. So how do you find your tribe? The key is building a genuine connection. People buy from those they trust and like. And here's how to do that. I've come up with five points uh, to talk about in this video that you can explore when looking and searching for your tribe. Number one is embrace your own authenticity. And I have to say that this has been a journey for me as an artist, as a financial advisor, trying to find a place where I can, I can be authentic. I can be everything that I am. I found that on YouTube. I can be whoever I want on YouTube. I will find someone who resonates with me, but mostly my tribe are other creative entrepreneurs. So the key to embracing your own authenticity is be yourself. Everybody else is taken, so you gotta be you. Express your passions and let your own personality just shine through. Number two is finding common ground. You know, I actually, I learned this pretty early on um, as a financial advisor when, you know, working a room or networking with people, you know, to find some, something that you have in common with them so that you can have a conversation. You know, a lot of times, even when I was doing a financial consultation with people, they may have said something that I don't agree with personally, but I would have to find something that I knew I could agree with them would help me relate to them in their situation. So finding a commonality, no matter, no matter what that is, it you know, could be a sport that you play. Uh, for me, it's usually, you know, my dog or hiking or, kids, you know, there's all kinds of places in our human experiences that we're absolutely alike. Just have to think about those things when you're meeting new people, explore them or ask a question. When you find that common ground, you can, you know, go deeper in that relationship once it gets rolling. So, you know, you can ask them, what keeps you up at night? you striving for in in your life are you are you creating a business are you also an entrepreneur are you striving for a million dollar bankroll so that you can retire uh, travel wherever you want 
you know, everyone has their special interests and passions. If you can meet with someone on that and find that common ground in their passions, have a connection and maybe even a good friend. Number three is build the rapport. So once you found those common things that you have together, you're asking questions to actually hear the answer. When you really listen and hear the answer, that's where you build the connection. Connection will foster trust. Also ask you questions and want to know more about you and what you have happening in your life. And that may be your opportunity to talk about your business. Number four, become a resource for them. You know, once they know what you do, whether they need your help or they have a friend who needs your help, you know, offer to help, you know, give, give some, a little bit of free advice and, and build that connection further. They may not be a paying client right off the top, but in time, they may bring you more clients than you ever thought you'd have. Focus on providing value, insights, and solutions to their problems. Because everybody wants a solution to their problem. And if you can hand it to them on a silver platter, all the better. By offering this free advice and tips, you're establishing yourself as an expert in that field. And they will remember that when you know they're at another party talking to someone and someone has a problem that you can solve. Say, I know just the right person for that. And five, once you have that connection, nurture it. Don't, don't just let it go by. Uh, the easiest way to do that is, you know, get an email, put them on your email list. Uh, maybe when you are giving them some tips, you can say, Hey, by the way, I put out a monthly newsletter. Um, would you like to be on the list? Engage with them on social media. What I normally do when I go to a business networking event, besides gathering business cards, is as soon as I get home, I will go on LinkedIn and I will look that person up and I will see their background, maybe some of their interests will be there, but I can get a general feeling about who that person is besides the information I collected at the networking event. And then I would ask to connect. And then once you have your LinkedIn or whatever your connection is, make sure that you add topics that you know that that specific person would be interested in. And maybe you'll be in the right place at the right time build these connections, something magical happens, becomes your biggest cheerleader. They will go out and making their connections and they'll remember, you know, you and what you do and how you've been able to help them with tips and conversation. They'll commend you. They'll sing your praises and be the first one in line to buy from you because you've built that trust and that connection. They believe in you and the value that you provide. Now, I'm eager to put these tips into action. Here, as a special offer for all creative entrepreneurs, I'm offering a free marketing evaluation for your business from Wealthy Palette Media, which is my marketing company will analyze what you're doing uh, and if you're staying on your brand message, or maybe, because I have met people in this category, maybe you don't even know what your brand message is. And we can have a conversation and brainstorm that to solidify your message going out so that you know that you're attracting the right audience, the audience that's going to promote you, help you connect with your tribe, create a magnetizing brand 
that will attract your ideal clients. Link is in the description box below so that you can claim your free marketing evaluation from Wealthy Palette Media. Thanks for joining me today. Please don't forget, like, share, and subscribe helps the channel and it helps me keep bringing you content about finances and business strategy. Have a great day. See you again soon.